All right, guys, so I just finished the run. Just the same run I do, like, as you guys saw. And, like, I think it's, like, 10 kilometers, but, like, although I'm used to this, it doesn't mean that it gets easier because every single time I do this run, I try to push myself. So, like, for example, I can run faster, I can run further. There's so many variables you can control when you're running. So once you reach a stage where, like, oh, I can run 5K, don't just stop there. Like, you got to continue pushing forward, just like you do at the gym, progressive overload. You want to keep pushing your body to reach new limits. So once you reach a certain goal, you got to make new ones and continue climbing up that ladder. And, like, just don't stop because your body can do a lot of things if you just push yourself and not let your mind stop you because your mind can really, like, mess you up. Like, like, just really gotta push yourself push your limits so anyway as you guys would know i got this blister on my right foot so i've been wearing two socks and like a band-aid and like this cloth and it seems to help i don't really find any issues with that so yeah although blisters suck don't let us stop you and one thing that i just love about this is that okay the gyms may be closed and certain things you may not have access to but what you do have access to is wearing a pair of shoes and just going out for a run because to be honest that can kick your ass if you're willing to work hard you can do push-ups pull-ups leg races sprints runs you can do so many things without the gym so i really hope this doesn't discourage you guys to just stop working out because honestly there's so many things you can do and you can keep pushing yourself and kicking your own ass doing this so since we've been in lockdown i think it's been well over a month and i told myself that i'm not gonna shave any of my facial hair yeah today i'm actually gonna shave it all off okay so before i start i actually just want to show you guys how much i actually grew because i think it's kind of impressive the mustache right here and then i think my sideburns like looks pretty impressive as well so yeah guys i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty impressed but let's shave it off it's crazy I look so much like just like cleaner like I just feel yeah feels so much better to be honest okay guys welcome to episode I believe it's six now of this quarantine vlog and I am not going to lie to you guys I'm running out of ideas like obviously like this whole like being in quarantine and being in lockdown at first it sounded pretty fun it's like oh I got to stay at home oh I don't have to go to work oh I don't have to go to school I can like just do whatever and like the first day I was already bored like it just I, it just sucks like I want to go to the gym I want to see people I want to go it's, I just want to do things you know so it's kind of it's really discouraging but today I'm going to show you guys my top five tips that I've kind of been doing to just kind of keep myself sane really because obviously like being in lockdown not seeing people staying inside can really cause anxiety and stuff amongst a lot of people now with me i've never experienced anything like that before so i can't really relate but i know a lot of people that can relate to that so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys like my top five things that i've been doing pretty consistently since this whole lockdown has started so yeah let's get into it so the first thing is to just try and stay busy so obviously like if you're staying at home it's pretty easy to get bored so what i've been doing or at least what I've been trying to do is just find new things to do. So especially now because I don't have any school to do, I'm pretty much just doing nothing. So what I've been doing is I've been just finding new things to do on my computer. So I downloaded these Adobe programs. So I got like Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator, Premiere Pro. I'm just trying to like get better at them, like enhance my skills and just kind of find new things to do that can potentially help me in the future. So yeah, just find things that you enjoy doing and just get better at them or find things that you never even tried doing before and try to get better at them because you never know, you may actually end up liking it. So yeah, that's a big thing that I would recommend you guys to do is to just find something that you may or may not have ever tried before. See how it goes. If you enjoy it, keep doing it. If you don't, just move on to the next thing. I mean, there's so many endless things you can do right now like it's pretty crazy so yeah that's the biggest number one thing number two is trying to stay active like obviously i love this whole fitness thing so it's not really hard for me to do like i work out six days a week i like to go on walks and runs as you guys would know now just yeah just staying active because like like who who wants to sit at home and just sit on their computer or like sit on a chair sit on their couch like that's obviously not gonna do anything for you so might as well just like if you've never even worked out before like try to get in shape because you got so much time on your hands you might as well do something you know so like, i know i'm pretty like privileged to have my own home gym which i bought but like if you don't have access to a gym you can still like do body weight exercises you can still do push-ups pull-ups leg raises like sit-ups pretty much a lot of body weight exercises and on top of that you can work on your cardio as well 
which is something I've been doing a lot too now, is to just go on runs, and even if you don't like running, you can go like bicycling, sprinting, pretty much whatever. Even if you can't physically leave your house, you can even do like a hit workout in your house. And there's like a lot of YouTube videos on that, so that's something you could try out as well. And yeah, just stay active because honestly, you're gonna feel so much better afterwards, and you're actually gonna feel a lot more productive in a way because you feel like you're actually doing something that's gonna help your body. And it's just so amazing, especially once you first start out, you see these crazy results and it just motivates you to keep pushing and keep moving forward because like, yeah, it's just, it's just an amazing feeling. So yeah, definitely stay active is a big thing that I would recommend you guys to do. Thirdly is, um, honestly, I'm not even, oh, fuck. Thirdly is try and cook more. Like cooking is such a great life skill to have. It comes in so handy because obviously you, like you should at least cook most of your meals. And if you're a good cook, then you can actually eat good food and if you eat good food then it's more likely that you stay on top of your diet and stuff so yeah it's just I, like for me personally I've always been like a good cook I mean I don't want to brag or anything but like I think I'm pretty good and I've been cooking and baking since I was a little kid to be honest I mean I love to like baking cakes with my mom making pancakes now I just pretty much make all of my meals pretty much because I actually enjoy what I eat I know what's in my food and I know how to like season things, spice things up. And it's just really fun because you get to experiment with new and different things. So yeah, it's just, again, it's just fun. Even if you've never tried cooking before, this is the perfect time to start cooking or just try to learn to cook new dishes or new meals. Because again, you've got so much time on your hands, might as well do it, you know? So yeah, that's the third thing. Fourth, um, yeah. I'm literally doing this on the spot, so I don't have anything written down and all prepared. I just thought I'd film myself, so yeah, what's the fourth thing? I'm actually thinking really hard right now, and I can't... Oh, fourth thing, it's something that I actually just literally did today, as you guys like just saw a couple minutes ago, is to just take care of like yourself, like don't just do what I just did and just go like a whole whatever it may be month two months weeks without shaving because like you just you don't feel like you don't feel like fresh you don't feel like you're just it doesn't feel right to be honest like this whole working out thing like look after yourself physically and also like physically on like your beard and like facial hair and stuff just kind of trim that up make it look good so you're actually like presentable to other people because like obviously you're not leaving your house or anything but if you do and if this does end then you will obviously want to be like ready for that to happen i know you can probably can't get a haircut either but just these like facial hair and stuff like your whatever you know so yeah shave your hair and lastly is to have a You know what, I and my fifth and final tip for you guys is to actually wake up at an appropriate time. Since you don't have to do anything, you just want to sleep in and be in bed all day, but that's gonna really cause you to have really, really, really bad habits in the future. So be on top of your like morning routine and just create these habits that are gonna help you in the future because that's a really bad habit to have. So again, like make sure you wake up at a decent time, wake up early, have a solid morning routine, make your bed first thing in the morning, like just make it, it just sets your day up to be a good day, to be honest. Like, brush your teeth like all these kind of things just stay on top of everything there are a lot of things you cannot control right now and it sucks but the things you can control you really just gotta like grab and just take control of it 100 because those are the things we actually can control and we obviously want to optimize that because it is the only thing we can control and it's just why not control it if it is controllable so yeah that's the five big things i have for you guys um, yeah, I know I wasn't really prepared for this, it wasn't really structured, but it's five things that I've been doing pretty consistently since this whole lockdown thing, and it just really helped me to stay sane in a way, because, yeah, like, it, this sucks, man, like, it's just stupid, like, not being able to do things, go outside, go to a gym, like, I miss the whole gym atmosphere, like, seeing my friends, working hard, like, playing soccer, like, I miss that, it just sucks right now. But yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up. I'd highly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.